Solakia is one of the most well-known and the most popular dances among Maratha. Solakia means the dance of the spirit of the slain. It is derived from three words, so, la, and kia. So, no, 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 so means reactions arising out of a natural death or the spirit oh, oh, reaction no, of the slain. So, 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 la, la, means to see so, one of on the journey. No, so. Therefore, Solakia is a dance to see one of on the journey to his spiritual place called Atiki. In the olden days, Solakia was usually performed on occasions such as the Yah ceremony after winning a war and when death occurred in the chief's family. To see the morning of the chief, often referred to as Abe Mati Paina. This dance was performed with three objectives. First, to render the spirit of the slain. Secondly, to ensure that the spirit of the slain shall be the slave of his slayer in the next world called Atiki. Lastly, to restore happiness in the chief's family when death occurred. <laughs> Songs are not sung, only gongs, cymbals, and drums are used to make beats, and males and females take an alternate position in circular shape. Solakia is considered to be originated from a place called Tongaisu, currently situated at Myanmar. There was a story that once upon a time, Sergiba, tiger like creatures, were wandering at the outskirts of the village. On account of which the entire village locked themselves uh, indoors. Soon, the chief's family was in shortage of firewood, due to which the chief's wife sent the maid to collect them. Hey, Tuna! Ha ha ha! The maid went to a place called Beisaibu, where she encountered the tiger-like creatures, Silky Shaila Buzu. Silky Buzu was surprised to see the maid, at which point she confessed that the chief's family had fallen short of the firewood and that she was sent to collect them. She also proclaimed that since the chief's family had commanded her service, she had stepped out to perform her duty with fear, as she was in no position to resist the chief's wife's command. Thus, Silky Pazu felt pity, collect firewood for her, and teach her a dance which we call Solakia. However, she was instructed by them not to drop the firewood at the courtyard of the chief's house. At dawn, as soon as the chief's wife came out to collect the firewood, 
She was caught by the sun keeper and oh, was taken away was into the jungle. The chief deeply mourned the death of his wife, covering his face and fast for a number of days. Therefore, the chief's elders prepare a feast to propitiate the chief for mourning. The dance taught by the sun keeper to the maid was performed in front of his palace by the young boys and girls. It was said that the chief fallen in love with the dance, relieving him from the morning. The maid became very happy and composed a song like this. Shai la pahauta lutla izal, te sai bulia ite tuna, ti bi bulia shulaina, te nao ho, atene rolo ane. Lal masat! Even though the dance had been learned during this time, its name, Solakya, was only given during 1650s, when the Marats were living at a place called Sizo in Chin Hills during the reign of Mahdi the First. The place where Solakia was usually performed in Sizo. Hey. The Lakhar village was called Solakia Bu, which still existed till date in its natural home. So lucky la moi tak ron enti rtu marathi clear pi MTP siya ha te chunga lom thu kan soi ni tuun trum hi chap sa kut ai zo la lom na MTP anga an lu tel hoi khat na ania a lu kan te in an chunga kan lom le ani kan program